and this is a Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation using solvable for p. So let's get started. Problem: Solve x y p square plus y square minus x square into p minus x y equals to zero. Solution: Given differential equation. x y p square plus y square minus x square into p minus x y equals to 0. Then x y p square. Now we are going to factorize the given differential equation. x y p square plus y square into p plus into minus minus x square p minus x y equals to 0. Now take yp common from the first two terms. Then yp of xp plus y Now take x common from the next two terms that is minus x common from the next two terms we will get minus x times xp plus y equals to 0. See, yp into xp is xyp square plus yp into y is y square p minus x into x, x square p minus into plus minus xy. Okay. Since you are having xp plus y in both the terms, so take xp plus y common from the two terms. We will get xp plus y times yp minus x equals to 0. Then xp plus y equals to 0 and yp minus x equals to 0. Now we will find solution for xp plus y equals to 0 and yp minus x equals to 0. Firstly, consider xp plus y equals to 0. Okay, let's consider xp plus y equals to 0. You can rewrite it as xp equals to minus y. Now put p equals to dy by dx. Then x into dy by dx equals to minus y. Then 1 by y into dy equals to minus 1 by x into dx. So here the variables are separable. So that we can integrate on both sides. Integral 1 by y into dy equals to minus integral 1 by x into dx. Since integral 1 by y dy is log y. Then log y equals to minus integral 1 by x dx is log x. We are having both the terms in log, so we will take constant as log c. Since log a minus log b equals to log a by b. So you can write this as log c. Sorry, log y equals to log a. Consider log c as log a and log x as log b. Then you can write this as log c by x. Since log a minus log b equals to log a by b. Or you can rewrite it as log c minus log x for our convenience. Which is equals to log c by x. Okay. Since if log a equals to log b, then a equals to b. You can write this as y equals to c by x. Okay? Then y into x equals to c. Then y x minus c equals to 0, which is solution for xp plus y equals to 
zero. Now consider the second one. yp minus x equals to 0. We can rewrite it as yp equals to x. Now put p equals to dy by dx. Then y into dy by dx equals to x. Then y into dy equals to x into dx. Since variables are separable, so we can integrate on both sides. Integral y into dy equals to integral x into dx. We know that integral x dx is x squared by 2 and integral y dy is y squared by 2. Then y squared by 2 equals to x squared by 2 plus constant. Integral constant c. Then y squared equals to or y squared by 2 equals to take LCM of these two that is the denominator of these two terms, we we'll get x squared plus 2c by 2. Okay. LCM of 2 and 1 is 2. Then y squared equals to x squared plus 2c. Since c is constant, so you can write 2c as c. Then y square minus x square minus c equals to 0. The solution for yp minus x equals to 0. y square by 2, x square by 2, c by 1. Okay? Now it's clear. Therefore, the required solution is yx minus c into y square minus x square minus c equals to z. So let's complete the problem. We have seen a problem from solvable copy in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.